My waist too small, my face too cute, my game too strong, your man too close, he on my phone, about these bills, put mommy on the phone, he ain't never coming on, look, I'm about to go in, I'ma get inside, he bitch your head like a sewing, I'ma lace the track in the front, make it blend in, pull that shit back so the glue ain't sh Capricorn. I need you to get in here, love. I need you to get in here. We need to discuss some things because it looked like it's going to be a good one. Capricorn, we're here to discuss your life. See what's going on with you for the month of May. Any placement of Capricorn. Sun, moon, Mercury, rising. Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, North Node, and South Node placements. Anybody who would like to be nosy because we know for a fact. We know for a fact they're going to be in here, girl. Check the chart. Also, make sure that you're checking out the new moon and Taurus readings that I posted. I feel like they're a really good way of seeing what tone and the mood is going to be set for you for the month of May um, due to this, due to the new moon. You know, new moons, you know, kind of um, give us our starting point for the month. Okay, so check that out if you're in Terra Sante. By the way, thank you everybody that's been booking with the general readings. My promo sale is still active and it will be active until the end of Mother's Day. You can book a general readings for $39.39, uh, money, love, career, spiritual, financial messages, okay? You can book with the price of $39.39 until the end of the day on Mother's Day. After that, it's over. It's dying cheese, okay? But thank you everybody that's been booking so far. I had a little bite in Anyway. All my other reading options as well as my contact information to book a reading with me is in the description box down below. All other info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section. Have you liked the video yet? Have you subscribed to the channel? The rotation is still active, baby girl. It's low-key, but it's active, baby. No it. So, we've already pulled the zodiac signs that you guys might be around, who the messages in this reading could be about, and what placements you guys might have. Mm. And what other monthly readings might have some messages for you. Let's talk about it. So we have Cancer, we have Virgo, we have Scorpio, and we have Taurus showing up on the bottom of the deck. So the first thing that I noticed was Cancer and Scorpio. We have strong water sign energy showing up. So maybe you have strong water in your chart. Maybe it's in one of your big threes or one of your big sixes. Okay. Check the chart, baby. <laughs> you gotta know the lingo. All right. There's a water sign around you in some sort of way. What's the message in this reading will definitely pertain to a water sign. All right. Remember, you guys can have these placements. These signs can be around you during this time. Or you can go, you can go check out these monthly readings to see if there's some messages in there for you. Now, can we talk about the overall energy? It's looking a little crazy. It's giving a little bit of telenovela. Already, we just started. Excuse me. We have karmic masculine, real bad man, okay? Capricorn, either I could be talking about a toxic Capricorn man or a Capricorn. There's going to be some messages in this reading about an ain't shit ass dude. Buckle your seatbelts, please, okay? They're draining your energy is showing up on the bottom of the deck. So this is definitely a taker, a user, an abuser. Someone who's, you know, bad for business is what I just heard. So, like I said, whether you are a woman or a man, I feel like Capricorn, you need to be careful about having an ancient as dude, being involved, be, being, um, being involved or being around a masculine energy who, like I said, is no bueno para two. This is also you not being able to be around somebody because of some sort of, um, you know, not great masculine energy that they have around them. Let's pull the cards, shoot the shit. See what's going on, okay? Spirit guys, what's happening to the Capricorn Zodiac in the month of May of 2024? What's happening to the Capricorn Zodiac in the month of May of 2024? Check the charts. I told you any placements of Capricorn, because some of you guys might have Jupiter in Capricorn. We have the Wheel of Fortune as your first card. That's kind of crazy, because when I look at the Wheel of Fortune, whenever that comes out for me, that represents divine timing, divine intervention, divine interference. It's basically saying, like, the universe is uh, playing a bigger role in your life than you think. Things happen whenever they should, okay? Um, also, depending on certain actions and decisions that you take, they can be monumentous a lot of fuck with the verbiage occasions okay <laughs> um that happen in your life like i said due to divine timing divine intervention divine interference we have the two of cups showing up on the bottom of the day 
Two of Cups, Mystic, is in the building. High Priestess, that will be you, because it's an Earth sign energy. Three of Cups and the Sun card with the Five of Swords. So, first thing, first thing, first thing. Some of you guys, I see in due time. And the universe is timing. Will Sun card and the High Priestess find out Two of Cups and the Three of Cups with the Five of Swords? Why, um... How do I say this? Like, why a certain relationship or connection here? It's a romantic connection or some sort of friendship, alliance, or association. Association um, with someone, five of swords, might be no bueno para two, okay? The five of swords in this deck represents somebody stabbing you in the back and kind of walking off like didn't nothing happen, Um Yeah, this is, you know, talking somebody here talking shit about you behind your back. Someone who, you know, um, what, what's the word I'm looking for? How do you say that? They antagonize certain situations. So they be running their mouth when they shouldn't be running their mouth. They spread, you know, false narratives. Um, it's like some of you guys with the high priestess in the sun car will kind of be uh exposed to someone like this around you like this is like you hear somebody shit this could be you coming around the corner you hearing your friend talking shit about you okay that bitch right <laughs> this is you um finding out that while somebody was talking to you they had another situation going on on the uh on the side Mm -hmm. It's like uh, in divine uh, timing, Capricorn, you will be finding out what's going on behind the scenes in regards to certain relationships around you. How people really feel about others, how people really feel about you, how people, um, you know, will do you in the background when nobody's looking. I also see that some of you guys are up on game in regards to uh, how somebody here likes to move. Where we at? Okay. Two of Cups, Three of Cups, and the Five of Swords. It's like um, somebody here likes to straddle the fence. They like to be friends with this person while being friends with that person. Someone here likes to... Um, <laughs> meander is coming to mind but this is someone here who's already in a relationship but they're entertaining other options but they try to lie about it it's like i feel like there's a lot of exposure going on around you during the time capricorn and i suggest you stay like this high priestess girl i ain't got nothing to do with that i'm watching it all unfold <laughs> but i ain't got shit to do with that okay Will of Fortune. You know what I'm hearing? Oh, old, oh, how the tables turn. Okay. Spirit guys, what's happened to the Capricorn Zodiac in the month of May of 2024? Nine of Wands. Mm -hmm. Two of Cups. And while this happens with the Nine of Wands, you're going to be shown who you should stay away from, who you shouldn't trust, who you shouldn't um, be vulnerable with, whether it be specific people or specific types of people, based off of how you're going to see people move and how people really are behind closed doors. And with the Wheel of Fortune being your first car, I feel like you're being shown this because this shows me that you're about to enter a season or you are in a season to where with the Nine of Wands, you're going to need to be very careful, tread lightly over who you allow around you, two of cups, who you decide to build bonds with. Because you never know whenever you might have one of these on your team. Carmen Masson. Or have somebody on your team who um, entertains individuals like that. I see some of you guys could also be feeling very good about staying away from a certain romantic connection with a water, fire with a water or a fire sign individual just because you kind of see this person crashing and burning you see it <laughs> you it? it behind the scenes access bitch when you get a pass two of cups that but that's what the high priestess is and the will of fortune it's like some of you guys might sun card might receive certain revelations in weird ways whether it be random conversations whether it be dreams whether the information just come to you bitch how you know ovo ain't working for me type shit okay i 
like it. I like that a lot. It's pretty guys. <laughs> What's happening to the Capricorn Zodiac in the month of May of 2024? Where are we at? Okay, we're okay, we're okay. Four of Swords. Yeah, girl, I ain't seen it. <laughs> I ain't seen it. If nine of Wands and the Four of Swords. Moving forward, a lot of you guys are going to realize why you have to move a certain way, why you have to be uber, I'm hearing, protective over yourself, why you need to, with the Four of Swords and nine of Wands, you know, stay, uh, stay guarded out here, okay? I'm not saying, you know, be a cold-hearted bitch. I ain't saying that. But you definitely need to be, if not only discerning, very careful about how you let people tread around you. Will of Fortune, especially if you're the type of person who um, opens yourself up to certain opportunities, certain benefits, like... Treat, you know what I'm hearing? Treat yourself like the big deal that you is. Like, sometimes you too old and too grown to be involved in certain things. Sometimes, woo! Sometimes, um... There's certain things that you are way too, you know, you too good to be a part of. You too good to be um, dealing with. And that's no shade to nobody. It's just, you know, girl, I know, I know what my value is. So, no, you cannot find, you won't be able to find my product over there. Now, I don't like to sell to people over there, okay? It's like needing to know what environments and what connections you belong in, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Knight of Wands, the world card, which for me is your card, Saturn. Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, and Nine of Pentacles is also you. I feel like a lot of you guys have been going through, no matter what age you are, have gone through this mature uh, um, uh, maturation. Is that what I wanted to say, honey? This maturation of... of um, Going through a certain lesson or experience in certain things to now you understand why um, with the Nine of Pentacles, you need to be more stable. You need to be more secure. You need, to be more, you need to be more grounded in yourself. You need to be open to more possibilities, Knight of Wands, with yourself. It's like realizing, some of you guys might be realizing just how much you're limiting yourself. Just how much, um, I'm, I know I'm bouncing all over the place, but it doesn't just... Um, pertain to just relationships this is you opening yourself up to new experiences new opportunities um new activities like realizing where am i limiting myself at so hey guys what's happening to the capricorn zodiac in the month of may of 2024 the sun with the lovers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Treat yourself like the big deal that you is because you is one. Got the Wheel of Fortune and the Sun card showing up in your reading. Some of you guys, how do I say this? <laughs> I could change your life. <laughs> like some of you guys, whether it be... Uh, certain benefits, certain things that you're able to create, certain things that you're able to do and provide for yourself and others, or um, you know, just having that swag, okay? Because you, because you are that. Just being the type of individual that you are with the Wheel of Fortune and the Sun card, I feel like you, um, your position matters no matter where you're at, okay? Because I feel like you can blossom in any sort of environment. And that's why the lovers, two of pentacles and the five of pentacles, first thing that just came to mind is you need to be careful about selling yourself cheap, selling yourself short. This is two of pentacles and the five of pentacles. You settling for certain uh, situations to where it's like, girl, you're not even getting what you need. You're not even getting what you need. Two of pentacles, you Capricorn energy. It's like you're tied to something to where the five of pentacles, you still feel destitute. You still feel like you're going without. You still feel as though... Um, you're not, you know, I'm hearing like value. Now, I do see with the Wheel of Fortune, some of you guys have moved on from being in that sort of energy, sort of energy, okay? With the Sun card, it's like, nah. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> it's big me, okay? And I do see some of you guys definitely cut that out whenever it came to certain romantic connections, the lovers. I see that it's definitely a fire sign that you might not fuck with. 
um, Leo and or Sag. Some of you guys that could be an air sign, Libra. Um, I have, there's a little bit of earth here, Taurus. It's just there's certain people that I feel like you like, nah, girl. I'm not going to say that. That would have been very corny. Um, but realizing like, girl, please. You you don't deserve. You don't even deserve to be around me, okay? You don't deserve to hear my voice, let alone be cool with me. And I feel like you can talk that shit because it's like you you can really talk your big shit because it's true. It's facts. The things that I want to say, I feel, sound so vain, but you have the cards to back it up. <laughs> All right. It's, <laughs> shit, I'm going to say this. Like, look what I can do for myself. Imagine what I could do for you. Imagine what I would do for you when you look at what I do for myself. You're giving very much provider, okay? You're giving very much main character. Every time, every room, every space. It's big me. What's happening to the Capricorn Zodiac in the month of May of 2024? Like, I feel as though, it's like, oh my God, is this too much? But it's like, nah, girl, it's not enough. Okay, Knight of Cups with the Hangman. But look, I feel like some of you guys are, you know, more than eligible candidates for um, a lot of things. You will pass the bar, pass the screening, pass the test every time. With the sun card, some of you guys have a certain magnetism that I feel like is undeniable. Whether it's your personality, whether it's your um, aura, a will of fortune, whether it's your perspective on life, whether it's the way that you handle or do things. I mean, come on. We're talking about Jupiter here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, how the tables have turned indeed. Some of you guys, the very same people or person that with the nine of wands and the four swords you want nothing to do with, knight of cups, could be chasing you during this time, could be wanting to be around you in any sort of shape, form, or fashion. This is people, you know, um, wanting you to, um, wanting to create certain relationships, certain friendships, certain partnerships with you, people wanting to date you, people wanting to be around you. That's how you know. Like, some of you guys might really feel like a magnet during this time, okay? Hangman, two of pentacles, two of swords, and the seven of pentacles. pentacles. <laughs> what the fuck? Y'all hearing me? It's like, where's the magnet in regards to the money, Okay. Um, I do see that some of you guys might be going through an income fluctuation during this time, shortened hours, shortened income, loss of income, um, waiting for some money to get to you. You'll get through this. Six of Wands is here with the Knight of Pentacles, slow motion, better than no motion. Some of you guys, I feel like this is a time for you to learn how to, um, make your money stretch. This is also a time for you to figure out where you want to start putting your money. Like, where does it matter where your money goes, if that makes sense? Spirit guys, what's happening to the Capricorn Zodiac in the month of May of 2024? Capricorn, if I could say this, this real quick side note. It was crazy that this flew out right when I was about to say this shit. I feel like somebody here is very much captivated by you with the ten of swords falling out on the floor. This is somebody here that does not want things to end with you. Seven of Pentacles. Either this person is still waiting on you or Capricorn, this is how you feel towards somebody. Still, uh, you know, still being attracted to someone, still wanting to be around someone. Still wanting someone here to ooh, give you access to them. Or Capricorn, someone feels this way about you. We have Sag, we have Libra, Gemini just fell out on the floor, Scorpio, Leo. It's like I feel like someone here is even more um magnetic. No, no, no. Someone here is even more attracted to you because with the Nine of Wands and the Four of Swords, you're not easily obtainable. You're not easily available to them. And it makes them interessante. I 
I wouldn't say this is a person that likes difficult people. Um, but they're attracted to people who know their worth, who know their value. That's why that's really where that statement that comes into uh, play. Um, people know who to play with. People know who to go after. People who know not to play with. People know who not to play with. People know where the gold is at. People know where the treasure is hidden. So, guys, what's happening to the Capricorn Zodiac in the month of May of 2024? Somebody here knows your caliber. They know what you, they know the table is where you're at. Because I read the fuck out these cards. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What I just plucked? The star? What do you have on your reading? The sun and the star? Some of y'all might have a little bit of fame to your name. Strong social media platform. Um, like you've created a certain name, a certain brand for yourself. You known out here. Uh, <laughs> you're known out here. And that's why I feel like, you know ties into that whole magnetism energy about you but some of you guys i feel like this is just spiritual sun card star card and the will of fortune i just feel like some of you guys have a very captivating presence um about you okay the way that you walk the way that you talk the way that you dress the way that you act excuse me like you give off girl there's so many Kendrick uh, analogies here. I did, but I was about to say, you give off a certain euphoria. Like, your energy um, is like dopamine, I'm hearing. You have a certain um, a, a certain addictive energy to you. But I like the fact that the devil card hasn't shown up because that is your card. And that's what will represent a little bit of addictive energy. But with the star and the sun card, it's like, no, you just want to bask in your energy. It's like those people that you just want to be around for hours because you know they can make you laugh. They know how to have a good time. They're super funny. It's like a breath of fresh air. And somebody here knows those days are over. <laughs> Four pentacles and the eight of pentacles. Someone here knows that they, I'm here and have, no longer have access to that camp, okay? Queen of Wands, Devil, and the Lover's card. Four pentacles and the eight of pentacles. This is someone here who's seeing you um, experience, experiencing you being stingy. And I feel like when someone here is used to having a certain hold or having certain access to you, they know that they can, you know... Um, like I said, they know they can experience a certain side of you. And then to see you and not get that same energy from you, I feel like it's a it's a complete one uh one what is it, 180? 360 would bring it all the way back around. It's like a complete 180. Like this this person has never experienced this sort of energy from you. And I feel like that makes you even more like they feel even more um drawn to you because of that. Um, a lot of you guys, if I'm just talking about you, if you let spirit, if you let the ethers, if you just let um, events flow naturally in your life, you would be very surprised at where you end up. If you pay attention to the signs, symbols, and confirmations that are being brought to you by the universe, you would be super surprised at the experiences, at the opportunities, at the environments that you will find yourself in, yo. It's like whenever you really become a student of the universe, whenever you say, I want to learn, I want to experience, here comes Jupiter. Oh, he th spin the wheel, baby, is what it's giving. Yeah, okay. Spin the wheel. I like that. So, you guys, this happened to the Capricorn Zodiac in the month of May of 2024. King of Swords with the Page of Pentacles. Y'all saw that face I just made? That, I see somebody here like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we have the Page of Swords, <laughs> Three of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Temperance, Six of Cups, Queen of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. Someone here um, is hoping that someday you will make amends with them. Someday you will open your arms to them, open your doors to them, whatever you think that means. Someone here is hoping that that happens with you. They might attempt it. They might try it. They might get their they feelings hurt. Truly, truly, okay? I just see a Capricorn doing this to someone or someone is doing this to a Cap Capricorn. Um, I 
like someone is trying to get the Capricorn. Capricorn, you're in an energy now of people are going to be trying to get you, trying to attach themselves to you. Sun and the star card. I, I, it's very odd. Like some of you guys might have a literal glow about you. Like people want to speak to you. People want to talk to you. People want to touch you. Spirit guys, what's happening to the Capricorn Zodiac in the month of May of 2024? Eight of Pentacles. That's you putting in work, being goal oriented, being focused on your aspirations. I think that's what's also very um, captivating about you. You seem like someone who takes yourself very seriously. Who the fuck else will? Okay, if I don't, who will? But some of you guys take yourself seriously, meaning like um, you don't <laughs> you don't waste your time in certain situations that you know you don't belong or you don't like. Um, King of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles, you don't really let anything or anyone impede on your goals and aspirations for life. Mm -hmm. Lord knows it's been tried Knight of Swords, Five of uh, Swords Two of Wands and the Ace of Wands Be aware because I do see someone here You know what the Knight of Swords for me is um, It's only a distraction Keep it moving No, wait a minute, is it this? Yeah, but it's also unannounced, unprepared And uninvited with the Five of Swords I see someone here might try to come in And you know it's like someone here doing something way wrong. Like, this is a dude trying to holler at you and he yelling at you from across the street. Uh, and he trying to touch you. He just met you and shit. Like, whoa, whoa, play. You make, you're checking all the wrong boxes right now. Like, somebody here is moving completely. I'm here completely inappropriate towards you. And... <laughs> I feel it's like someone here running up to you and you having to push your arm like that. Like, whoa, 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 I don't know you like that. Don't get that close. Like you're going to set the tone for this person or just people in general uh, as to how they deal with you, how they try to handle you. So be careful about that. It's like knowing at what uh, number to set your... Set your price and not move it, okay? If you're going to pay it, get the hell out the shop, okay? Either people are going to uphold you to this sort of standard or you will not be in that environment. You won't be in that room anymore. Last card. Spirit, guys, uh, what's happened to the Capricorn Zodiac in the month of May of 2024? Six of Wands. I mean, this is a hell of a read. This is a hell of a reading for the overall energy to be so dark, <laughs> to be a little worrisome, karmic masculine. I mean, this is a pretty good read. So I feel like this is someone, a type of person that you need to be aware of, specifically men, whether you are a man or a woman. Just some of you guys need to be careful about, you know, treacherous men is what I'm hearing, okay? Uh, Six of Wands is out here. Or this is a specific person and this is how they're seeing you during this time. And you need to treat them as such or treat a certain situation accordingly because of the sort of energy that you're in during this time, okay? It's like sometimes when people call you, you don't pick up. <laughs> sometimes people text you, you don't respond, you don't reply. No one is old that from you. Period. I like that, I like that, I like that. Yeah, um, this for me is like some of you guys feel like you take orders from the most high. Like whenever uh, God, the universe, the ether, spirit speaks to you about a certain situation, you don't you don't question. You don't ask, okay? If that's what they said about you, that's what they said about you. And I can't deal with you. If, if I'm trying to be in a certain energy, I'm trying to move a certain way, and the way that you move does not align with me, I'm not making excuses for you. You got to go, okay? We went over Capricorn. This was your May monthly reading. Please check your chart. Jupiter and Capricorn is definitely out here. Like this.